Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. FAA reauthorization bill updated. Shebel Camcopter S100 conducts flight display at Red Bull Air Race. And Global UAV receives authorization for beyond visual line of sight drone flight testing. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Practically down to the wire, new language was introduced in the wee hours of the weekend in an attempt to have the FAA reauthorization passed and on the books before the September 30th deadline. AUVSI is currently examining the 1,205-page document, which addresses a number of unmanned aerial vehicle operational and legal issues. In initial reactions, the Airline Pilots Association is voicing approval about additional restrictions on hobby drone activity. While AMA is asking the bill be defeated due to what they see as the potential for extensive restrictions on the model aviation community. Other commentary suggests that the bill will enhance the development of UTM, offer additional transparency in Part 107 approvals, give the federal government aggressive capabilities to bring down drones engaged in offensive activity, enhance the FAA's oversight and control of UAS issues, increase the likelihood of progressive processes to enable airborne deliveries by UAS push the concept of consensus standards instead of airframe certification for unmanned aircraft and other concepts. ANN will post more information at aero-news.net as the 1,205 pages get additional scrutiny. At this stage of the game, this bill is expected to be a done deal, and that passage is imminent, though a very short-term resolution may be required if efforts are not completed by the weekend. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Fortress UAV, a leading provider of drone repair services, announces the launch of Fortress UAV Protect, a new drone preventative maintenance program. Fortress UAV Protect is a nose-to-tail preventative maintenance service that rivals those of manned aircraft maintenance services. Fortress UAV Protect will provide customers with a per-drone maintenance schedule that includes an industry standard maintenance checklist, plus checkpoints specific to the particular drone model being serviced. Florida State Senator Linda Stewart has announced that a state grant valued at $75,000 has been secured for a pilot program to use drones to keep tabs on adults with Alzheimer's disease. Senator Stewart made the announcement at a news conference with Orange County Sheriff Jerry Demings, whose mother-in-law passed away due to complications from Alzheimer's a few years ago. Demings said that his mother-in-law went missing several times during the latter stages of her illness. The Red Kite Eye, a wide area motion imagery system designed for the Institute Integrator Unmanned Aircraft System developed by Logos Technologies, successfully completed its final flight test during the last week of August at the Institute Flight Test Facilities in Boardman, Oregon. The lightweight Wambi sensor successfully demonstrated complete end-to-end functionality, including highly stable imagery, live Wambi streaming, vehicle tracking, and real-time forensics. Rolls-Royce engines have been selected by Boeing to power the U.S. Navy's new MQ-25 Stingray aircraft, which will provide unmanned carrier-based air-to-air refueling. The U.S. Navy has awarded the MQ-25A engineering and manufacturing contract to Boeing to provide four aircraft. The MQ-25 is designed to provide the U.S. Navy with a much-needed refueling capability and extend the range of combat aircraft from carriers. Each MQ-25 aircraft will be powered by a single Rolls-Royce AE-3007 in engine. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Shebel's Camcopter S100 UAS 
had the opportunity to show off a bit for an international audience with a flight display at the Red Bull Air Race in Wiener Neustadt, Austria. The Red Bull Air Race teamed up with Schiebel and Wiener Neustadt, home to the Camcopter S100 production facility. The history of our company is strongly connected to the location of Wiener Neustadt, and we are excited to be partnered with Red Bull Air Race 2018, said Hans Hecker, CEO of Schiebel. This presents a wonderful opportunity to bring together unmanned and manned aviation and give the audience a taste of the expertise and vision represented by the two sectors. The Camcopter S100 had two starting slots per race day. In addition to the unique flight display, it also provided the audience with a breathtaking aerial overview of the venue, which was simultaneously broadcast on big screens. A wide range of exciting side acts rounded off the entertainment program. Transport Canada has authorized Global UAV Technologies, wholly owned subsidiary Pioneer Aerial Surveys, to conduct beyond visual line of sight operations with a Novarial Procyon 800E at the UAS test range located in Formos, Alberta. The Special Flight Operating Certificate allows Pioneer Aerial to demonstrate delivery of payloads with a Procyon 800E, in addition to research and development flights such as radio signal and strength testing. The Beyond Visual Line of Sight flight test plans will align the company to apply for Transport Canada pilot project approval for future flights and operations in unrestricted airspace. The Special Flight Operating Certificate was granted to Pioneer Aerial after a strict review and analysis conducted by Transport Canada on the systems, crew qualifications, flight safety manuals, and other presented information. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at avsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.